Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelor Nation 24 channel, I hope. Everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Mark Anderson joined Golden Baccalaureate for selfish reasons. Bachelor Nation fans expected Mark Anderson to swoop in and steal Joan Vaso's heart from Knight, one of the Golden Baccalaureate. That hasn't happened. Is Kelsey's dad there for selfish reasons and not for Joan? Keep reading for more on the speculation. Bachelor Nation fan doesn't think any suitor is right for Joan Vasos. The Golden Bachelorette season just started but a few fans already think they know how it ends, and it's another not-so-happy ending like Theresa Nist and Jerry Turner from The Golden Bachelor. One viewer took to Reddit to share their thoughts that none of the 24 suitors are the right fit for Joan Vasos. They explained, Usually, I have at least two to three front runners from day one. The only one seem to be cute is Mark. Not only he is very attractive, he is super charming. But I don't get the serious vibe from him. It seems like he well aware of his looks and charm. And maybe I'm completely wrong, but I'm not sure he's serious. Other fans chimed in with agreement, especially about Kelsey's dad. Agree with you. I don't think she will pick any of them. I think she is so boring. She's just pretty but I feel like she has minimal depth to her other than experiencing the tragic loss of her husband. Maybe they're giving her a bad edit though. I could see them focusing only on her appearance and not feeling it necessary to showcase her personality. Outside of them fixing it to have Kelsey's dad win, I don't see it either. I think Mark is very handsome and loves being in the mansion, but maybe not looking for a wife right now. I can't imagine she picks anyone either. She loves her family and so do all the men so no one is moving. I think she's going to back out on all of them. She's not ready to commit to another man nor move away from her family. Is Mark Anderson a golden baccalaureate plant? If Mark Anderson isn't on the Golden Bachelorette for Love, why is he there? In a preview clip for this week's episode, he admits to starting to fall for Joan. But is he telling the truth? Screen Rant speculated that Mark Anderson is a producer plant. His motive? The outlet suggests he's only on the show to get the lead role of the season 2 Golden Bachelor. ABC has yet to confirm his second season of the spinoff but fans have been calling for Mark Anderson to get the job since his first appearance on season 28 of The Bachelor. When Mark Anderson stepped onto the set of The Golden Bachelorette, all eyes were on him. He had that air of classic charm, well-kept, silver hair, an easy smile, and the confident stride of someone who had lived a life with few regrets. At first glance, he appeared to be everything the golden women on the show were looking for in a mature bachelor a successful career behind him, a lifetime of stories to tell, and the aura of a man who had been around the block a few times. But as the weeks passed and the cameras captured more than just his smooth words, some fans began to wonder, did Mark join the Golden Bachelorette for reasons other than love? Could it be that he had selfish motives driving him to pursue fame rather than romance? Mark's entrance on night, one had been nothing short of dramatic. He'd arrived in a sleek vintage car, hopping out like the star of an old Hollywood film. There was an undeniable glint in his eye as he approached the leading lady, Joan Vasos. He complimented her, but not in the way the other men had. His words seemed more calculated, as though he knew exactly what Joan wanted to hear. He told her she had the grace of Audrey Hepburn and the fire of a woman who's lived fully, lines that sounded like they'd been rehearsed. Joan, flattered and caught up in the whirlwind of the first night, smiled and blushed. The chemistry seemed instant, but was it authentic? As the season progressed, Mark consistently found himself in the spotlight, always managing to say just the right thing at the right time. The other men on the show started noticing too. They whispered among themselves during downtime, wondering if Mark was there for the right reasons. Charles Ling Another contender had voiced his concerns early on. I'm just not sure about him, Charles had said to one of the other bachelors. He's always got something to say, and it always feels too polished, you know? Like he's playing a part. In confessionals, 
Mark gave off a vibe that was hard to read. On the surface, he appeared sincere, speaking about how he had been through the ups and downs of life, weathered heartbreak, and was now ready to find love again. But the more he spoke, the more viewers started to pick up on the subtle clues that hinted at ulterior motives. I'm not just here for Joan, Mark said during one candid moment. I'm here to remind myself what it's like to live, to feel that excitement again. Who knows, maybe I'll meet someone incredible along the way. The statement raised eyebrows. Most contestants on shows like The Golden Bachelorette are laser-focused on their connection with the lead, not their own self-discovery journey. Mark's comments hinted at something deeper. A man who wasn't just looking for love, but perhaps for a way to stay relevant, to reignite a spark in his own life that had faded with time. As the competition heated up, Mark seemed to thrive under the pressure. He was always quick with a witty remark or a charming smile, and Joan continued to be drawn to his energy. He had the ability to make her feel special, to sweep her off her feet with grand gestures and poetic declarations. But behind the scenes, some of the other men were growing frustrated. They felt that Mark was more interested in the cameras than in Joan, more focused on how he came across to the audience than on building a genuine relationship. He's always got an angle, said Devin Strader, one of the more outspoken bachelors. It's like he knows this is his chance to shine, and he's not going to waste it. But is he really here for Joan? Or is he just trying to boost his own image? Mark's background only fueled the speculation. He had spent years in the corporate world, working in public relations, a career that required him to be polished, calculated, and always one step ahead. He knew how to work a room, how to sell a story, and how to present himself in the best light. It wasn't hard to imagine that he might be using those skills to navigate his way through the Golden Bachelorette, treating the show as another stage for him to showcase his charm and charisma. Rumors started to swirl online. Fans took to social media, debating whether Mark was genuine or simply playing a game. Some argued that he was just a savvy, experienced man who knew how to make an impression. Others weren't so convinced, pointing out how often he seemed to focus on the cameras, even during intimate moments with Joan. One particularly telling moment came during a group date, where the men were asked to write love letters to Joan. Most of the bachelors wrote heartfelt, emotional letters that spoke to their connection with her. But Mark's letter felt different. It was beautifully written, poetic, and full of flowery language, but it lacked the personal touch that the others had. It seemed like something you'd find in a greeting card. Charming, but impersonal. When Joan read it, she smiled, but there was a momentary flicker of doubt in her eyes. Was Mark too good to be true? As the season moved toward its climax, the question of Mark's true intentions hung heavy in the air. Joan, ever perceptive, started to pick up on the mixed signals. During the one-on-one -on -one date, she confronted him. Mark, I can't help but feel like there's something you're not telling me, she said, her voice soft but firm. Are you really here for me, or is there something else driving you? Mark, ever the smooth talker, gave her a practiced smile. Joan, I'm here because I believe we could have something real, he said. But even as he spoke, there was a subtle hesitation, a flicker of something unreadable in his eyes. Joan nodded, but the doubt lingered. In the end, whether Mark's motives were purely selfish or not remained a mystery. But one thing was clear. He had made a lasting impression, for better or worse. Whether he was there for love, fame, or a bit of both, Mark Anderson had become a key player in the Golden Bachelorette, and perhaps, in the end, that had been his plan all along.